welcome again to Crank It Out Crafts and uh, my name is Puna. And we're going to be continuing our what would you make week or what would you make week with our new woods and today we're going to turn this kind of cool shadow box into an even cooler shadow box that's going to look something like this. Um, it's kind of this one is really really neat because it actually comes with uh, clothespins and a clothesline and stuff so for, to help you do even more decorations so we're gonna this is what we're doing and I'm gonna start with my shadow box I already have it taken apart here but I want to kind of give it a distress look so I'm gonna use distress stain and this is in the walnut color stain um, from Tim Holtz and it's really really easy to use I'm just gonna go along the outside here kind of give it this nice color I'm not doing the whole thing because I'm gonna do a little bit of one other color on here so I'm just kind of going back and forth really really fast uh, my other color is tea dye and this is just gonna go over the whole the stains are really nice because you can sort of gauge how much of the color you want in there so you can do just a little bit and then if you want more you can do some more and go over the last one if you get them fast enough you can kind of two together you can kind of blend the colors together sort of like what I'm doing so I just want to have this really nice sort of old vintage looking frame and as you can see the more that you go over it the kind of the more it soaks into the wood and gets like even richer in color. I think I'm gonna stop there. Um, another thing is that if you want to get into the corners like this you can also instead of because sometimes it's hard with the dauber you can put it on a paper towel and kind of get into the into the insides there. So after I'm done with that we are going to set up the background for the picture. I already have my two papers that I want to use taped together and this is the backdrop, this is the wood that comes in the frame. And I'm just going to go ahead and put tape on my picture, I mean on my paper, and tape this to the wood. Now the wood piece is, is bigger than what you're actually going to see in the frame. So your frame is six by eight and I just cut my papers down to six by eight and then I'm just going to center it on this wood piece. You notice that there's some edges like raw edges that you're um, you can see right now but you're not going to see when you put them into the frame. And then I have my cute picture here and I've got pop-up dots on the back of it we're just gonna pop them up so that he stands out a little bit. This is already done matted with different, using different papers. And then we're gonna put everything together. Glass goes in first. Then we have our, let's see, inner piece with the, that has the clothesline attached to it. That's going to go into the frame next, and then the background goes on it. But don't forget, if you want to add some hanging things, don't forget to do those before <laughs> you put the back on. So I'm going to add, and after I flip this over, and I can show you what these guys will look like. These are two little stickers that I got off of a sticker sheet that goes along with the paper that I'm using. and so. I'm going to put the back on, so you get it sit to sit in there nicely. So we're going to get the back on and turn these guys in like this to keep the back on. So just like that, and when we flip it over, <laughs> there's some of our pennants uh, hanging up. And what they are, are um, what the gecko was saying, they are little let's see stickers and all I did because they were stickers and I didn't want them to actually be sticky I already backed them on another piece of paper just an extra piece of paper 
but if you want to then you can then go and add it's nice because they're all coordinating colors and we can add a couple of other stickers to our shadow box just along the outside to sort of finish up give it a nice finish and that's it thanks again for joining us